Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing really, really well. For this reading, this is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius sign. We're going to look at the cards. We're going to get a sense of the awareness for the week or the big ideas, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information and messages for the week. So let's see what the cards have in store for you. Okay, for the awareness for the week, we have the Seven of Rods and the Wheel of Fortune. So the Seven of Rods uh, might indicate that you're going to have to defend yourself this week, that someone may be questioning you, someone may be getting in your face, and uh, you're going to stand tall, and you're going to um, defend your ideas, your beliefs, your actions. And you can see in this illustration that this person is has an advantage and is backing off the wands below. So um, sometimes we have to do that. Sometimes we have to stand our ground and we have to make our point and we have to, um, you know, maybe uh, find a way to deal with People who question or people who are the naysayers, you know, it's valid and, and it's a part of life, which is stand your ground for what you believe in and for what you want. Say your peace, speak your truth, and uh, don't let people work you over or, or take advantage. You know, this is you protecting yourself. So with this idea of protection here, we have the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana. And the Wheel of Fortune is the momentum and the motion and the wheel of life. It's always spinning. The universe above is spinning it. And here we're a part of it. We live our lives and events come and go, the, the in and out, good events and bad events, things that are not so positive. What's important with the, with the Wheel of Fortune is that circumstances can, can change quickly. Just like this, the wheel can reverse. It's a matter of how you respond to changes. It's a matter of your mindset. Are you going to be able to roll with it? Are you going to be flexible, adaptable? Or are you going to be rigid and, re and resist change? The potential here is that something could change this week. Maybe it's a little change. Maybe it's a bigger change. But it's a matter of how you, how you go with it. The universe has the design plan for us and kind of sets everything in motion. But we don't surrender our power and we don't surrender our free will. We still can control our reactions, our feelings, and our thoughts. And so that goes a long way into helping us understand that life is always spinning and who knows what's going to happen the next day. And so this week, be mindful of that. Be ready to deal with any changes that may come that were unexpected or maybe something that you are expecting. You might have to make a decision. You may need some time with this Wheel of Fortune to make that decision. So in terms of guidance, we have the King of Swords and the Sun. So the King of Swords is, he's looking right in the direction here of the Wheel of Fortune. He's holding on to this gleaming, sharp, powerful sword. And he's a man that uh, is, again, direct and focused energy. Clear thinking, highly intelligent, able to understand all sides of an issue, the complexity of things that happen and can rule for the most part fairly. The shadow side is that sometimes maybe he could be a little domineering or manipulative, but uh, from, for the most part, this goes to looking for the facts, dealing with the facts, and often the facts lead to the truth of a matter, the, the heart of the matter, which is what's really happening. It's not being swayed by gossip or hearsay or other matters. It's really cutting through the nonsense and getting to 
the issue, the heart of the issue, before you make decisions, it's to know it, know both sides of an issue. So if the wheel of fortune is throwing you a curve ball, this king of swords would be telling you, use your smarts, be smart about it. Use your reasoning, your analysis in order to problem solve or to make decisions. Make your decisions based on fact versus just winging it. And when you make these decisions, the good news is that we have the sun, the glorious sun, always wonderful to see the sun in a reading because the sun goes to our life force. It goes to the energy, the radiance and the brilliance of life itself. And so this is a call to you that as you've been defending yourself, dealing with perhaps changing circumstances, making decisions, don't forget to have fun, feel carefree, be the baby on the white horse saying we, you know, uh, the sun there is a friendly sun. It's a sweet sun, but the sun is for you to feel the light of the world and to share your light with others, to illuminate, to bring your smile and your happiness. This is a happy card. This indicates, indicates good relationships, um, good things happening with your professional life, with your spiritual life on all levels. The potential here is for happiness and for joy and to live your passions and to be creative. So good things coming your way this week. And let's take a look at the possible outcomes. So we have temperance, major arcana, as a possible outcome. So temperance would be the message to you to make sure you don't blow off your balance or trying to find balance. You need to make that a priority. You need to think about integrating all aspects of your life, your diet, your rest, your the, the, the ratio of work to play. All of these pieces have to be brought into uh, a harmonious place. And so with ba- with um, temperance, we are really trying to, to find um, the moderate path, to not go to extremes, to think about what may be out of balance and try to fix it. It's also a good time to, again, to listen to the messages, tune in uh, psychic-wise and intuitively-wise. Listen to the messages, be present. And then as a possible outcome, we see the energy of a young page, the page of rods. And in this deck, you really get a sense of the youthfulness. That's how they've been represented. And it could be a childlike energy. It could be a young adult. It could be a child within your family, someone that you know. It also can suggest the way that we feel when we have the opportunity to introduce or to do something new in our life. And so with this page of rods, uh, looking for adventure, looking for excitement, looking to become a part of something, to take the first step. This is a call for you to, to do something, to pursue a hobby, to be more creative, to take a risk perhaps. He's hoping to become more experienced with life and, ex- and adventure as he moves along the progression. But it takes time and it takes, again, it's having the experiences. So uh, if there's something new that's been on your mind that you've been wanting to do, then this might be a good week to do a little more research, make a phone call, you know, look online at community colleges or check out other stores on eBay or something. If you've been thinking about selling things on eBay or whatever, it's a card of, of using your power to act. Interesting cards for you for this week. And there's a real sense of flexibility with decisions, making smart decisions and taking care of your balance and you know, you're going to have a lot of happiness with the sun. So let's choose a card for an affirmation for the week.
Overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything. It's a powerful, it's an uplifting, and it's a optimistic outlook that when you believe that you can overcome the obstacles in your life, standing tall for yourself, using your smarts, uh, anticipating changes, that life changes when you're ready to be flexible, this puts you in the position to be able to overcome obstacles. And finally, let's choose a card for love. Loyalty. Your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and consistency of being. Earth, you know, earth element here. So loyal, very loyal, loyal to friends, loyal to family. And uh, the word devotion is such a, it's a wonderful word to be devoted to those that you care about and that are meaningful in your life. It's a powerful, powerful attribute to have. So I hope that you found something here that resonates with you. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next week. Take care.